Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this really fun, bold look. I did lashes. I never do lashes, but I did them today. And I did them because we are going to see the Backstreet Boys tonight in concert. I am so excited, it's gonna be so much fun. So anyways, I also threw some white in my lower lash line, and I just feel like that helps open up the eye instead of with a black liner, it can close the eye and make it look a little bit more squinty. So I just felt like this helped open it up and brighten it a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed creating this look, and I am so excited to just have a really fun time tonight. Please let me know if you guys like this. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my hair up out of my face so that we don't have any little flyaways getting into makeup. I'm starting with the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. Or, no, 18-hour. 18, six, I'll find it and list it down below. I'm using this as my primer for eyeshadows and I'm blending this in with my damp beauty sponge. I did forget I wanted to prime my face so I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, con oil control primer misting spray. Yeah, that's it. Um, and so that I would just get that on my face before I put any color um, on my eyes. I'm going to set my eyes with the Morphe cone brush. This is an M438. This is a really great brush getting just down um, right in the crevice, right next to the nose, um, and just setting all of that concealer, getting ready for eyeshadows. I'm going to go in with the Morphe James Charles palette, and I'm starting with the shade Canvas. This shade is so light, you are not going to see it on my eyes, but this is just putting down a nice little layer for the other colors to blend upon, just to help make it a little bit more seamless and um, blended. I am going to start here with Code James. This is a really orange color, and I didn't really want to do an orange look, but this orange just helped those other colors blend really well too. So I am layering, but you're not going to see this orange in the final look. And I'm putting this in my crease, back and forth, back and forth. Now my eyes are looking a little hooded lately, so I'm creating my crease to be just a little bit higher, if that makes sense. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade 10% off. This is more like a brick red, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to help define that created crease a little bit better. And what I mean by this is my eyelids are a little hooded, so I'm bringing my crease up higher so that when my eyes are open, you can see these beautiful shadows. And I'm just going to do this with windshield wiper motions, back and forth, back and forth, creating my own crease on where I want it to be rather than where it really is, kind of a little lower down. Blending those uh, shadows, you don't really see much of Code James anymore. It really is just blended up with the 10% off. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade No Beans. This is even darker. It's a more darkish, reddish, brownish, deeper color. And I'm just kind of focusing this on the outer corner of the, um, the outer corner. The outer corner of the outer corner. Um, anyways, I'm keeping this further out and then I slightly bring it in um, to kind of blend in with those other colors back and forth, back and forth, windshield wiper motions. Again, just trying to make sure that all of these colors are seamless and blended. Next, I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe um, and I'm going to take this gold shade. This is the shade Queen. This is like a bar of gold. It is so gold and so beautiful. I'm going to grab my MAC Fix Plus. And I'm going to put that on a flat shader brush and I'm going to just load Queen onto that brush and then put this low down on the lid. And I start pretty low down on the lid. I don't want to pass the line of the crease. If you pass that line of the crease, that look can get messy and it's just not really what I'm going for. But I am just swiping this all across the lid from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. What that max split mac fix plus did was it makes this gold a little bit more metallic and a little bit more um, vibrant next i'm going to go in with 24 7 yes it's 24 7. this i'm just going to put on my with my finger i'm just packing this on the outer corner over top of that uh, gold the queen 
just packing it on. I'm not using a brush. I tend to find that using my finger with this product um, just works better. There's a lot of glitter in it and it does have a lot of fallout. So I try to be very careful when packing this on. With an absolutely clean brush, I'm just blending those uh, shades all up in the upper crease. I'm blending everything so that that gold just kind of blends and melts into that reddish brown up there. Now with the fallout, I am taking some makeup wipes. These are just from Target. They're the up brand compared to, I think, um, Neutrogena. Wow, that's a line. Look at all that makeup. Holy cow, that's a lot of fallout. So I'm just getting myself cleaned up here, getting all of that fallout taken right off of my cheeks and so that we can move on with liner. I'm going to go in with Maybelline Eye Studio in the shade Blackest Black. And I'm using this on an angled brush. This is a Sigma small angle brush. This is an E65. And I am just tracing my lashes, my lash line, excuse me. I'm not gonna do a cat wing. I am kind of falling away from a cat wing at every eye look. I really just liked how um, it just brought a little bit more attention just to the eye without a wing. So I'm just tracing again my lash line with this brush. And I'm just trying to be very careful because it is a gel not to um, get too excited with it. I am going to use lashes today. These lashes don't have a name that I could find, but while the glue is setting on them, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and just put a coat of that on my regular lashes so that they blend easy with my falsies. I'm just going to lay these on top of my natural lashes and then pop on the outer corner and then the inner corner using a pair of tweezers. Don't use tweezers, girls. Use a lash applicator. Tweezers are dangerous. Um, but then I just used my finger to kind of help press them on a little bit better so that I felt that they were a little bit more secure. I have no idea what these are called, but they reminded me of the lashes that I wore on my wedding and I got them from Mac. I did get these on Amazon though. I just don't remember what they are, sorry. I felt like using my finger, maybe I just kind of pressed off a little bit of the inner corner. So I'm just putting a little bit more queen on that inner corner just to help make that look a little bit more vibrant. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. And this is in the shade Porcelain. And this is, this is white. This is so white, even though I'm really fair right now, this was really white. It did oxidize just slightly, but I mean, this is really light, but you know what, you make it work. I'd rather go too light than too dark. Um, it's easier to blend and to add a little bit more color than it is to tone down something that's a little too dark. I am blending this in with my beauty sponge. This is a sponge that I got at Target and it was like in the $3 bin but um, it worked, it worked beautifully and I really, really, really loved it. Next for my concealer, I'm still using that Camo Concealer by e.l.f. The price is right, I think it's like $6 and it's perfect, I loved it. I'm only bringing this halfway across my cheek instead of all the way across my cheek. Um, and then I put a little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of the nose, and then on the chin. Now I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Matte Finish and I'm just gonna spray, oh wait, no, not over my shadows. I'm going to spray that onto the beauty sponge and now I'm going to blend out the concealer. I just find that using that um, finishing spray for setting the concealer, it just helps sheer things a little easier and my concealer doesn't really settle into the fine lines like I was feeling like it was doing. So I really liked that trick and um, it works really well. So again, just pouncing up and down, setting that and again going halfway across my eye instead of all the way across my eye i feel like i'm saving on product because i'm not using as much but it is still definitely enough i'm getting full coverage out there and i've been really really happy with this technique give it a try ladies you might seem to like it too i'm going to set the under eye with the rcma no color translucent powder again with that cone brush by morphe I'm going to list all the brushes and products that I'm using as, in the order that I'm using it down below so you'll be able to know what I'm using when I'm using it. Um, I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And I am using, this is a newer brush. This is, I think, Firma number 102. It's just a big face brush. Any big face brush will do as long as it's big, fat, and fluffy. It will just cover everything. Now, this product does have a little bit of color into it so I did feel like it helped with how white and Casper like my face was with that foundation that liquid foundation 
but I am still going to go in with my bronzer. I'm going to contour slash just bronze my face and bring a little bit more color and life back into my face with this butter bronzer. This is such good bronzer. It works on just about every skin tone and it smells amazing. It smells like a tropical fruity drink if you're into that kind of thing, but oh, it smells so good. So I um, did the cheeks, contoured out the cheeks. Don't forget the forehead. Make sure that you get that so that everything blends and ties together really well. Now, I don't ever contour my nose, never. I don't know what on earth convinced me to try to contour my nose today. I am going to a concert. I'm gonna be in the dark. Nobody's gonna see this, but I thought, you know what? I'm home alone, I have some time, and why not? I'm using just the same butter bronzer that I used for my cheeks and my forehead, and I just drew that small little line down my nose with an angled brush. It's the same kind of brush that I used for my liner. And then with another Domi brush, um, I'm not sure what this one is. I think this is an IT brush, number 105, um, to kind of help blend that contour down my nose. And what this is doing is it's just kind of helping my nose look a little bit more I guess cinched maybe a little tighter giving my face more contour more de definition um, I am using an Arbonne shading brush and I'm using the RCMA no color translucent powder to kind of bake the bridge of my nose with my the same beauty sponge it's still damp I am going to use the same fit me powder and I'm going to clean up that lower cheek and just sharpen up the contour. Again, I'm just bringing a little bit more um, drama to the contour, to the to the cheeks, and just helping clean all that up. I felt like I got a little bit messy, and that really just cleaned it up. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade T, back in the James Charles palette, and I'm taking that on a pencil brush, and I'm putting that on the lower lid. Just blending that out, just kind of giving something down there for us to put down the next color, which will be Central Park. Central Park? I always want to call it Central Perk. I think that's what she wanted it to be. It's called Central Park. And I, on a flat shader brush, I'm going to just put that tightly right next to my lash line. And this is my going to be part of my eyeliner. I am going to um, bring that not all the way to the inner corner but pretty close to the inner corner and then I'm just gonna blend that out with that pencil brush putting the T down before the darker color again does the same thing like the upper shadows did it just gives that a nice little area to um, blend a lot easier and blow that those two colors out so they're just blended seamlessly and beautifully I'm gonna take the color pop cream gel liner this is in the shade exit it is white. It is so white. And I'm putting that on my waterline, the lower waterline. And why I'm doing this is I feel like it helps open up and brighten up your eye, whereas a black liner will give you more of a sultry, sexy look, but it can make your eye look a little squinty and closed. And I wanted this to open things up and just look really, really bright. So I was very, very pleased with that. I am going to highlight my inner corner. I used In Light from the Jaclyn Hill um, palette. I'm using this on the Arbonne shading brush and I'm just putting that on the inner corner. Any small little brush will do. I'm also going to pop that on my brow bone on the outer part of the eye. Again, just highlighting the high points and bringing a little bit more attention to my eye with that highlight just right there underneath the brows. Now I'm going to take off that bake. Um, whoa, I'm gonna fast forward myself. Just taking that off with the same little brush, uh, the big powder brush for the face. For my brows, I'm using the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow, the retractable brow pencil, but I didn't really wanna film it because it takes me forever, so <laughs> there are my brows. I am still gonna set my brows with the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. I'm gonna set those brows so that they do not move. I do not need product streeping right over my forehead. So yeah, I've really been happy with this brow gel. Next, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara, and I'm putting that on my lower lashes. Putting that white on my waterline and combined with the shadows that I put on the lower lit lash line, I just felt like they just got all over my lower lashes and this is just 
bringing a little bit more life back onto my lashes. For my blush, I'm going to use two blushes. It's probably unnecessary, but I just got these two and I love them. I'm using Date Night number 32 first. Oh wait, no, that's Heated. I'm using Heated number 16 first. That's the brightest one. It is so bright, but it is so pretty. Date Night is the second one that I'm using, and I'm just going to lay that on top of Heated. This is more of like a duochrome. It's kind of pink, but kind of peach. They just it's got an iridescence to it and I love it it's so beautiful and the two combined is just gorgeous I'm gonna highlight with the Mac soft and gentle and I'm using that on an Arbonne precision brush and I'm just hitting that right there on the tops of my cheekbones Wow oh I love this this is such a wonderful highlight it's so beautiful top of the cheekbones the Cupid's bow a little bit on the inner like right up at the top of the forehead and then maybe a little just a teeny bit on the top of my nose I never really do my nose but I did today for lips I'm gonna use the Ofra silk pencil and I I don't line my lips my lips are big enough they don't need any help but I am lining them because I want to block out the natural color of my lips so that when I put my lipstick on you see mostly just the lipstick, but this pencil is amazing. I love it. I need to buy another one because clearly I'm almost out. I'm sorry I didn't show a color or a shot of it, but this is ColourPop Midi, M-I-D-I, Midi um, Liquid Lip, and I wear this daily. I actually need to get more because I am so far out. I love this color. It's just a very beautiful nude lip. I'm going to set this face with the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Spray and just fan myself off. So there is the final look. You guys, we had so much fun at that concert. The Backstreet Boys did not disappoint. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all on the next one. Mm -hmm.